Shiba Inu was the most traded cryptocurrency on India's coin switch exchange for the week of April 15th to 20th, surpassing Bitcoin which came in second place. SHIB was also reported as the most traded asset on Indian crypto exchange WajRx in the past year. The article includes current price and support levels for SHIB, as well as recent burning of SHIB tokens. This week in DEFI, the hacker responsible for the $8.9 million safe moon exploit has agreed to return 80% of the stolen funds. U.S. crypto lender BlockFi has been granted an additional 48-day extension to submit its exit plan by a New Jersey bankruptcy judge. Ether price hit an 11-month high despite post chapella withdrawals peaking at over 1 million ETH, causing Ethereum gas fees to touch new multi-month highs. The top 100 DeFi tokens broke out of a two-week bullish streak. And Mebbot made millions in sandwich exploits against buyers and sellers of two new meme coins. Cryptocurrency analyst Henrik Zeberg believes that despite recent double-digit price drops, an altcoin season is still coming based on momentum analysis. He warns that while some altcoins have red flags, a big market crash is not expected, and an altcoin season could come before any recession. Meanwhile, Bitcoin still outperforms some major altcoins in the long run and has reached its highest dominance level since Q2 2021. Other experts, such as Arthur Hayes, have also predicted an upcoming altcoin season. The number of active XRP accounts has exceeded 4.5 million, with a large percentage of these accounts being held by the Asian crypto community. Ripple and Binance are the two largest holders of the token. Ripple's presence in the region, partnerships with financial institutions, and regulatory challenges in the US have all contributed to the growth in XRP usage in Asia. The rise in transactions and active addresses also indicates a growing interest in XRP. As more financial institutions in Asia adopt XRP, the cryptocurrency's distribution and usage are expected to continue growing, regardless of the ongoing case with the US SEC.